So, uh, oh, I forgot to fucking do the thing. Hold on. Uh. All right, what do we got here? We got. see this here had to turn there we go are we oh, missing yeah. somebody there we go no. oh, all right so i got Thalise, professor lady acaria uh the dude ellen i don't have brayton was a 22. that is correct all right so here's how you do this right click on your port click your portrait right click go to top and hit add turn i, I think only the dm can do that only oh, the dm can uh, do that well fuck me then i'll just you, do it myself if you add to turn he can then click yeah. on the, the number why and the then edit it fuck is, why the fuck yeah is he, piece of shit yeah now he can click on the zero and add his own initiative yeah or he didn't get 22 right Correct. All right. So you're at the top. 22, 15, 15, 14, 9. Is that everybody? All right. Top of the round, we have Brayton. Uh, in the back of the room, from where you are standing, a 15-foot-tall monstrosity of a giant covered in jagged ice and this frosty like smoky fog like uh texture coming off his body he has a giant two-handed axe that is just like a jagged set of ice spires pointed off of the handle like this uh and his eyes are this piercing blue color and there's this like radiant fog that comes off of them and kind of like a flickering uh, mist, uh, and he is lumbering towards the center of the room. Brayton, you get first reaction to this. Uh, this room does it? Is it walled chamber? You are in a circular walled chamber. Yes, sir. Okay. Maybe just say hi first. No, Brayton's angry. Maybe he's just low. Fireball to the face. Uh, so this is all flavor. I'm just going to use my uh, boots to fly in, but I'm going to flavor. I'm going to would run and get the speed I need to actually start running sideways on the wall, shinobi style, and come up behind him. What's your movement? With my boots, 60. You're here, right? Mm hmm. So you could get to like here ish? I'll use my bonus action. Okay, so you're going to go behind him? Yeah, I'm going to take a path though so that I uh... go around. Uh, yeah. All right, go ahead. Put yourself back there, and that pretty much ends your turn. Oh, no. Slow my action. Oh, you bonus action dash. Rogues. Yeah. All right. Well, you are not hidden. That's okay. Do as you please with your action. If I had D and D Beyond up, I would be able to uh, do this a little easier. Yeah, I know. I need to have mine up too. I have it here.
So what are we doing? I'm trying to log in. There it goes. I was using my phone uh, one before. It's fine. Sorry, I'm trying to get to my encounter. Oh, it didn't build it. What the? F right there. So you guys getting that? There's a coming through. Boo! Didn't see it. All right. No. What did you? What were you doing? Okay. Why is it not doing this? Hmm. All right. Just using regular dice then. All right. Uh, 18 on the die, plus 9 for 27. That's a hit. That uh, is 1d8 plus 6. All right. Uh, 2 on the die for total 8 radiant damage. Okay. 8 radiant. That's the full damage type is radiant? That's it. Okay. Sunblade equal lightsaber. All righty. That is your turn as the radiant damage splashes across his backside. As he is lumbering away from you, he pays you no attention and is headed for the center of the room. That is your turn, Lady Akaria. It is your go. So what kind of weapon does he have? Uh, he has a two-handed gr giant great axe. Mm. Well, about the size of a Mack truck. Breton is too close. You'd take collateral damage from either of my spells I could use. So I'm real good at getting out of the way of things. You don't want this. <laughs> you don't want to take even half of this. So I will just. How do, do you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not willing to take the chance. <laughs> I'm going to do regular uh, two shots with my longbow. All right. Oh, that was miserable. <laughs> well, second one misses for sure, and the first one just misses. I only did one. Oh. Do you get advantage? What? Oh, no, that's one's are hit and one's are damage. One, yeah. No, one's in Yeah, the other that's, one. That's no, 12's the, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 12 misses. 22. Uh, 22. That'll hit. Damage. Uh, nine points of, well, no, it hasn't taken damage yet, so it'd be six points of damage. Oh, six. it just took, took damage. It took damage oh, okay. from uh from him, yeah. I'm sorry, nine. That's okay. And then I will um that yeah, that'll be the end. I'll stay okay. where I'm at. All right. All right, turn. as you as you pull your bow out, you release two arrows shoop, in quick succession. Shoop. The first one, the wind catches it just a little bit, and it sails basically right over his shoulder. The second one, striking him in the front of the leg and kind of giving him just a little tickle as a little bit of this, like, blue blood starts to kind of trickle down his leg as he is lumbering towards. He's going to leap over this frozen pool. And he's coming straight to the dais. That's his book. And he does not like people reading his book. As he yells down upon you, Who dares disturb my chambers? And he's going to take two great axe swings at the professor. This dude's about to drop the fucking atomic elbow on us. Is a 25 to hit professor? Yep. And a 26 to hit Professor. Yep. Let's see what I wrote down for this one second, guys. Sorry. <laughs> I got two new pages out tonight. La, 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 la. All right. Okay. Ooh. This is going to suck. I'm sorry. Oh, fuck. 
13. Uh, 18 damage on the first one. And 18 damage on the second one. The dice are rigged. <laughs> As he brings this down, almost carving the book itself, first swing catches you square in the shoulder, kind of glancing off of... Do you wear armor of any kind, Professor? Um, is it just leathers or what see. do you got? I think it's just leather. Okay. I'm looking. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. No, I wear half plate half because plate. of my okay. infusion. As it strikes kind of like where your shoulder meets your body, it embeds this gash mark into your half plate. And he uses his momentum to drag it out of your shoulder and come back around and catch you in the other shoulder, smashing down and cracking your half plate in the other side. As now you start to see a little bit of red liquid drip from underneath his half plate, and he is going to pull his a little bit. He's going to pull a his lot. axe. He pulls his axe back and he just like growls in your face as that oh. ends his turn. Uh, it is Thalisa's turn. Neat. Um, I'm going to move uh, this away a little bit if I switch back to this thing. We're going to go here. And then I'm going to uh, hit him with a little hold person action. He's going to make a 15 wisdom saving throw. 15 wisdom. All right. All right. Plus that. And we got. Uh, oh, that's a natural 19 on the die for a dirty 20. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna use the rest of my movement, and I'm I'm gonna go move to take the book. I don't know if he picked it up in his turn, but I'm going to try and take it for him. You begin to lift <laughs> the book, but you do not get fully into it this turn. That's fair. Good. All right, Professor, you just got the shit clocked out of you. What do you do? What do you do? <clears throat> I'm gonna cast. Um... Uh, witch bolt on him. Hit him hard, daddy. <laughs> Fourth level. All right. Wow. That's a natural Oof. 20. That. That's a natural 20. <laughs> so is that 21 plus 31? Yes. Oh. Mother of Jesus. Save Don't me. Mess. Don't mess with the professor now. Save me. <laughs> All right, hold on. It's okay. That's okay. And it'll come back around on my next turn. Okay. I am very, I am very impressed, though. From my as, viewpoint, I'm watching this. I was like, damn. So as he <laughs> strikes down upon you, professor, he gets one hit rips it around, strikes you again with those prongs of ice down through your armor, and as he pulls back, smiling at you and just kind of roaring in your face, you have this glint in your eye. And if you could uh, just describe to me real quick your uh, how you would cast spells that way going forward, I kind of know how to play that for you. The Wait, say that one more time. Like how how I'm would sorry, the professor? That's okay. How would the professor cast his spells? That way, when I describe things in the future, I'm accurate. This is all. It's all hands. It's all like all the way his, okay. he sits his fingers up. Okay, just kind of in certain patterns. Okay, and it's just sort and of like a... as you as you draw the patterns in the air quickly, uh, keeping your hands tight to yourself, feeling that pinch in your both of your shoulders. You rotate your hands over, and this like sickening green blue energy just mm -hmm. jumps off of your fingers and strikes him right in the center of his chest, and it coalesces right, right where his breastplate comes together. And it's almost like it grabs and rips it open a little bit. The energy just crackling and popping across his chest now as he. That was that was a good hit. That was a good hit. That was an awesome hit. <laughs> that was that was very good. He is taking a little bit of damage at this point. <laughs> uh, as your turn, is there anything else you'd like to do with your turn? 
Yeah, my uh, steel defender has an attack too. All right, steel defender. He'll come around. You'll actually be able to get to the other side of him. Okay. Other side, not quite flanking, but pretty close. Very close. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> that is a 22 to hit. 22 definitely hits. And well, that is... I can't remember what his damage is. Where are you? There it is. Ooh. That's a lovely hit. Okay, so that's Thirteen points of uh, damage. Flawless nail. How much damage on <laughs> five? Uh, thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Okay. And that's his. That's his okay. turn. As your turn comes to a close, the layer action will kick in. I need everybody to make a dexterity saving throw as shards of ice rain down from the ceiling, spiking the floor all around you. Uh, this is a great time to remember you have plus, plus threes, the guys around me. <laughs> no, that's a, that's a 23, though. Okay. 25, I evade. Okay. That'll be 27, so... Y'all are some fucking bosses. You only needed a 12. <laughs> <laughs> As the shards of ice fall and rain down around you, you all manage to duck, cover, roll, whatever you have to do to avoid getting spiked in the shoulders and the back and the head by the ice smashing into the floor. <laughs> and with that, we are on to Ellen. It is your turn. Alrighty, um, I'm gonna back up a bit. I don't like uh, that guy being close to me. And then I'm gonna cast. Which direction are you gonna go? Is that all yeah, the so you want? I'm gonna go south a bit. Um, okay. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-one. I just look. I was looking at the range of this spell. Um, okay. To make sure, nope. So I would be up one more, and I'm gonna cast haste, but I'm gonna spend my uh, sorcery points to twin it. Okay. And I'm gonna haste both the professor and Will Smith. <laughs> I'm Benito, Ami, Ami. <laughs> I love it. And just so you guys know. You guys get a plus two bonus to AC. You have an advantage on dexterity saving throws and an additional action on each of your turns. I love that, that action can only be used to take the attack, dash, attack disengage, action. hiding out. Wait, so I have six attacks? Is what you're telling me? <laughs> That's why I wanted to twin it. I wanted to be able to <laughs> professor to... Haste is disgusting. Haste gives you a single extra attack when you use the action. Uh, right. Not a full set of attacks. It gives, you, it gives you an additional action on each of your turns. So right. if on yeah. your if your attack action is two attacks, you can take two attacks. Really? Because mm -hmm. yep. it's, it's giving you an it's giving you in roll twenty. And it says here the uh, tata, you gain it gains an additional action on each of its turns. That action can be used to take can only be used to take the uh, oh it says one weapon attack only. Never mind. Because um, usually if you get another action, 
uh, and use it to it attack. Whatever it. that action. Yeah. Would but you can also attacking. dash, disengage, hide, or use an object. Right. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. Alan, just shit on my parade. Thank you. So Appreciate that's that. still five, right? I mean, if this thing survives till my next turn, even. Yeah, I don't know if that thing where it says one weapon attack only, like maybe if you use your extra attack with the same weapon, it would make sense. I don't know. Right. Oh, that's DM rolling. And I'm not the DM. Uh, so for for tonight, we're going to have a discussion after uh, between games. Uh, I will go with you can take your double attacks if you want, but we will discuss the wordage of that after the game. We'll just roll with it for now. Uh, all right, that finishes up uh, Ellen's turn. And as we come back to Brayton's turn, uh, he is going to spend one of his legendary actions to cast Cone of Cold in a 20-foot cone in front of him. Doopy doopy doo, says I can find my ruler. So this direction, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. That was dumb. So anything in this space here. So let's see, it would be five. So the two of you, let's go with Elise and Professor. Can I get, what is the saving throw on that? Con saving throw, and I believe you get a plus three with that. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. uh, mine, I think the rolls are counted, but anyone around me gets plus three. That wouldn't be counted, obviously. Okay, so add plus three to your constitution saving throw. Please. Nice. <laughs> Ooh. Dang. Is that, a, is that a 12? Ooh, guys. That would be a 10 for him, but mine's just a nine. Mine would be a well. With mine, it'd be it. What yeah, did we get? Right. So be a, yeah. So yeah. Thalise, Thalise got a what? A nine. A nine. And <laughs> Professor, what did you get? A ten. Professor, <laughs> you just save. So and what the fuck? Out, right? You'll take <laughs> half damage. Nine God. is a fail. Hit me. Oh, goddamn, guys. Oh, fuck. Hmm. Yeah. The least you take 39 cold damage. Cool. Uh, Professor, you take half of 39, whatever, rounded down, whatever the fuck that is. 18? Is that what that is? Yep. <laughs> yeah, you take 19. All right. 19 full damage. Okay. And Brayton, it is your turn. I will use my. Well, let me check the distance on that so I need to see if uh, I need my bonus as well. Let's get on my thing there. Okay. So I will fly around to here, definitely within 60. Yep. I should, and in flanking, I should have advantage on this attack. Wait, let me. Uh, there's the flanking. Sounds good. All right, advantage on the attack roll. All right, I'm glad I've got a plus nine to make that a 14 with advantage. Uh, 14 misses. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it did when I saw a two and a five pop up, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I fucking feel your pain, dude. I feel it strong. Like, my, my soul hurts a little bit. Second, don't you have a second attack? 
If I'm a rogue, I get one. Did you have to bonus action to get there? Uh, I did not. Uh, okay. Did you get a sneak attack? Because the got... snail's within five feet of you. I have to hit to get sneak attack. Right. The oh, damage. that's true. Image. I, gotcha. thought, I thought rogues got two attacks, though. One with their action and one with the bonus action. Or is that assassin only? I thought swashbucklers got a... I'm not sure, though. I'll I'd have to look Let it up. me go over that real fast. Yeah, I don't I think I do. Okay, that's fine. If you don't, that's fine. But if you do, I don't I don't want to cheat you out of a, an attack. An attack. Uh, I could not use my bonus action to... Uh, use the aim because I moved. Uh, I did attack you, so you cannot make an attack of opportunity against me thanks to mobile. So, yeah, that's it. All right. I do have. Uh, possible reaction, but it's only uh, available after circumstances. Okay. Lady Akaria, it is your go after you watched all of this fun transpire in front of you. Yes, I'm going to move so I don't go through my friends to here. All right. <clears throat> Very well. And I will take two more attacks with the longbow. Okay. Fire away as you pull back your arrow, aim true. The first one again goes wide, skittering across the uh, stone floor all the way at the other end of the room and clattering into the wall. The second one striking true as it hits him in the shoulder, kind of spinning his shoulder backwards a little bit as he kind of lets out a roar in pain. Uh, 16 points of damage. Bearing down on his great axe, getting ready to. Uh, let's see. There. 16 damage? Yes. All right. And then I'm going to take a five foot and get behind the pillar. <laughs> okay. Very good. And that is it for me. All right. Okay. At the beginning of his turn, he is going to use another legendary action. And he is going to summon standby. Stantley. <laughs> he is going to summon a frost viper right here. A sneaky snake. A sneaky ah. snake. <laughs> oh, it had to be snakes. Yep. <laughs> I'm a snake. Oh, lucky for you, that's a natural one. Yay! <laughs> As it reaches out to try to try to snatch onto your leg and bite you, it misses, hitting the top of your boot and just, just grazing like and hitting. Yeah, and you just kind of like kick your foot and kick it away as it coils back and hisses at you violently. Uh, then it is going to use its action, and it is going to, you know what, let's do this. All kinds of fun people around him. Let's see, one, two, three, All right. four. Apparently that's enough. I love you. <laughs> All right. Uh, he's going to turn around seeing a, uh, juicy target behind him. He is going to try to swing away and punt the battle snail off of his backside. Reaction sentinel. He is that for an attack? He's not moving. He's just spinning around. He attacked head. another target other than me. All right. Twenty one to hit. Twenty one does hit. Damage, please. Eight, nine, thirteen, eighteen, twenty points of radiant damage. All right. As you strike him 
locking him in his place. And yes, and he cannot move now. Right, but he can still take the attack action within his He reach. does finish his attack, but he can no longer move, and I get to uh, do that whenever he attacks someone that melee other than me. Gotcha. All right. Swinging away on the battle snail. Uh, <clears throat> as a 14 hit the battle snail? It does not. All right. Second attack. Does a 17 hit the battle snail? Uh, yes, it does. All right. That is 20 points of slashing damage to the battle snail. Okay. As he finishes his turn. And he growls angrily at Brayton, pointing his finger at him and turning it over in a I come for you next kind of motion. Elise, it is your turn. <laughs> next, he says, yeah. Um, I'm going to hop up on the book here. I think that'd be a cool thing to do. All right. All right. Um, and then I'm going to take like five attacks at him. <laughs> So, do me a favor. Mm. Can you make an athletics or acrobatics check to climb the dais and not slip okay. off on the icy Maybe pages of the book? Really going to do that to me right now? I, I sure am. That's Dr. fair. I, you I, I have, you know, I'll take it. If I can throw myself into the side of a ship, I can take if, this. <laughs> if you want the flavor, you gotta, you gotta taste the ice cream. Wait, literally every time I've done this, there was the sh the ship. And then yep. the logs outside the cabin in the other yep. campaign. <laughs> and yep. now this. Yep. I'm breaking the streak. I'm breaking the streak. Hang on. on. It's coming. Come on. Good, good vibes. Good vibes. Fuck. <laughs> oh my God. I always try this. The streak right. remains. <laughs> yeah. What, what happens? Let me know. <laughs> so. You go to jump up on the book. You you get up on the you get on the pedestal. But as you go to swing, you got a sword, right? Oh yeah. You, as you go to swing with your sword, the page starts to turn out from underneath you and you slip and fall smack on your ass, fucking your first attack altogether. You may right. use half your movement, the rest of your movement to stand up and make the rest of your remaining. <laughs> All As right. your pride I guess I'm gonna do is that. bruised. All right. <laughs> I'm going to look around make sure nobody saw that. But apparently everyone has. <laughs> um, so I still have the haste attack and my standard two attacks, essentially. That's correct. Okay. Cool. As currently ruled, yes, sir. <laughs> okay. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to do... Does 18 hit? 18 does hit. Cool. Um, so we're going to do damage. That would be 10 damage. I think that's with everything. Plus three. Um, and then we're just going to smite once, which I can't remember what the damage is off the top of my head. And I can't seem to find it because I wasn't prepared for this. I've been thrown off. Uh, Divine smite's going to be 2d8. So that's another 12-er. Um, and then we're going to take another attack. That's a it's crit. <laughs> yep. So I get I get plus 10 damage from the uh, necrotic, and then this is, what, doubled? 14. Yep. It's 28. Plus 10 is 38. Yep. And then, I mean, we'll just smite it again, because, you know, we're kind of on a roll here. Um, and my, my thing's not working, so we'll do... How do I roll on this thing? Slash roll 2d8? Uh, should be slash r 2d8, yeah. Another 7 damage. And then uh, last attack. Does not hit, huh? No, it does not hit. Alright, so I'm just vibing. I'm going to take my 10 health, and then uh, I guess I'm done. I, I kind of picture this like heavy breathing <laughs> moment at the end of all this <laughs> the sweat dripping off, but freezing as it hits the ground around the police. 
and a that was, really that's redemption and a bruised cool and a bruised bum. <laughs> <laughs> all right so at the end of your turn the layer action will ignite again and everybody needs to make a dexterity saving throw please t6 all right don't forget everybody within so many feet of police gets plus three 29 Fair enough, you save. <laughs> 24. 24 save. Can you yeah, you guys 13. have advantage. 13 barely saves. I think that's everybody. Uh, uh Slugworth is a 20. Slugworth. Slugworth, yep. He's a 20. You're, you're good. Alan. Also, I mean they don't need it, but and uh, Dex save. Click the button. 17. Yep, you're good. All right. You guys managed to dodge out of the way, not colliding with any of the ice and taking damage from the layer action. Good job. Does the Viper get crushed to death? Uh, the Viper. The, that would be embarrassing. The Viper chooses <laughs> to succeed its role. All right. Fair. <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> Uh, Professor, it is now your turn. You're looking up at this giant and your witch bolt still clinging to its chest. It's, it's bleeding this <laughs> blue, nasty, like frosty oh, yeah. icker down to the floor after getting pummeled by Thalise, the long, heavy draws of its breath emanating out over your two spaces. Uh, it's looking not so great. Yeah, witch bolt's coming at it again. Lock, lock them up. It's thirty. That's thirty-seven. Thirty-seven damage. Yep. How do you want to do this? Well, it's. I'm just. It's the same. I'm just. Bow, motherfucker. Jazz hands. Reach over and <laughs> exactly. rock the hands forwards, and as you pull them apart, the witch bolt circles on his chest, and then. Basically, like it grabs his chest plate again, but this time it gets full on grasp and the electrical nasty, sickly energy just spreads open his chest. And his frosty heart is exposed there before you, Professor. Oops. And as you finish rolling your fingers over one tendril of the witch bolt flickers back around and strikes straight through the middle of his heart. And you watch it just explode inside of his chest. Wow. <laughs> and the light just mm. flickers out of his eyes, and he falls down, catching himself on his great axe with his hand and his forearm. And he looks up at you, Professor, and he says, Only those worthy may read my book. You have proven yourself this day. As this giant fucking body slams onto the floor in front of you. This is not your book anymore, bitch. Dibs on his axe. <laughs> uh, the viper that was in front of you, a lady, disappears. Ah. Uh, as he fades. Nice. Awesome tonight, Professor. Oh, you are a badass yeah. bitch. And yeah, he's how a, are you alive? He's a hurting. <laughs> he's a hurting. Barely. He's a hurting badass bitch. Yeah. If, if yeah. he wouldn't say, if he wouldn't have saved, probably wouldn't be so good right oh, now. I would have been down. Yeah, you're you know? welcome for the plus three. <laughs> yeah. You might oh, make yeah, sure it's pain. I'm, I'd I'd I'm come up pain. and. In a lot of pain right now. Yeah, Ellen would come up and, and put a cure wounds on you. Level four. I could see like Slugward coming up and like nudging you. Yeah. And be like, Aww. it's okay, boss. Oh, yeah. It's okay, boss. You know, Ellen just plants a kiss on your lips and oh. uh, delivers a 29 nice. points of curing cure wounds. Ooh. That were some magical lips. Damn. That's, that's <laughs> nice. They were indeed. Wow. Hello. 
feels all warm and tingly all of a sudden. <laughs> um, but for real, can I check out his axe and see if it's like something I could wield or is worth wielding? Uh, you can go over and make a check, sure. Hell yeah, what kind of check? Uh, if you say athletics, I'm a loser. <laughs> no, I would <laughs> say... <laughs> athletics check. Why don't you just make a straight... Performance check. Make a straight, straight strength check and see if you can wield it. <laughs> I what happened to this character? He used to be so cool. <laughs> he is beautifully flawed. That's what yeah, yeah, that's a nice way. You to go put to it. you go to lift it, and oh his, my God. Arm, his arm is draped over it, and you can't seem to get it. And into you rest. can't pick up his dumb arm. <laughs> can't pick up the axe. It's right. just too heavy. Can, I brushed it off like I didn't want it anyway. <laughs> huh? Nice. I didn't want it anyway. <laughs> it's like... Can I use my lightsaber to just carve the arm off the axe for him? Her? <laughs> I'm, you know what? I'm going to sit back and you guys can RP this moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to talk. I'd like, like to try to just it. pick it up. <laughs> I just want to try to pick it up myself. If I'm using my lightsaber, I do want a trophy. If I'm using the lightsaber, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm using the lightsaber to cut the arm, DM, would that give him advantage on the strength check? Why not? <laughs> Come on, professor. <laughs> All right. <sighs> okay. Here we go. Because that will start mutilating bodies. <laughs> Let the bodies hit the floor. Does a, I mean, we kind of mutilated already already. Ready. Yeah. I mean, fair. Does a 20 work? <laughs> the <Pretty> fuck? <laughs> sure. Like one-handed. <laughs> I, I, want, I want the RP, though. I want the RP. So yeah. He's going to gonna walk over. And he, so the, I'll let you do your lightsaber thing first. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna as Breton sees that. you guys trying to collect the axe, Breton will ignite the lightsaber, walk over, and just slowly let the radiant uh energy heat up the frozen bits of uh skin and ice around it as he just simply starts to slowly carve this guy like a Thanksgiving turkey. <laughs> uh, until it passes through all flesh and finally bone out the other side, He's struggling himself to roll the arm out of the way, giving you free opportunity to attempt to lift the axe. <laughs> he's gonna walk over. He's gonna walk over. And he's gonna reach inside of his inside of his plate, half plate, and pull out a a handkerchief, and he's gonna wipe it off first. There's bits of blue goo on it. He doesn't want all of that. So he's gonna wipe it down. <laughs> wipe it down. He's gonna put that back in his thing. Then he's gonna crack his knuckles. <sighs> Having seen that Felice couldn't pick it up, uh, he's gonna crack his knuckles. He's gonna reach down, scoot one hand under, the other one on, and he's gonna go, Ooh, oh, that came up rather easy. <laughs> You know, kind of look at it. It's like, I might be able to infuse this with something. Hmm. Or what is the, what is it? So if I investigate, what's the properties of this bad boy? Um, why don't you do an arcana check for me, sir? Unless you have the identify spot. Okay. Um, I might have identify. Let me double check. Elise is over looking at the book like she never even wanted the axe in the first place. <laughs> Secondary prize. <laughs> no, I don't have the identify spell. It's okay. Oh, that's okay. That was a 19 on Arcana on the die, so. <laughs> that's a 26. <laughs> As you grab the axe, you feel your consciousness attach to Ooh. something. Ooh. And you hear this voice in the back of your mind and it just like it's a very cold seedy um, 
whispery kind of attachment into the back of your brain. And it says, Ooh. Hello, Professor. With me. Hello. There is no one who can stand in front of you and not feel the depths of my cold soul. I will show you so many things. So many paralyzed, frost-covered things. All you have to do is feed me, feed me their blood, their blood, their blood. That was rather... That's it. Erotic. (laughs) (laughs) Horny axe, horny axe. I think the sword is like... I know, I think the sword's (laughs) coming on to me. (laughs) It's like... (laughs) <laughs> um okay all right and then he's gonna, he's gonna uh, keep it. <laughs> can you do you actually make a wisdom saving throw for me if you would please okay. or you can choose to fail it it's up to you well i was actually going to actually i was actually going to give it to Thalise. <laughs> okay because it's not something I, that I can use that's fine I would like you to make a. a but I just want to see. I just want to see yeah. if I could pick it up. Yeah, make make a wisdom <laughs> saving throw for me if you wisdom would. Wisdom save. Yep, to sure. see if you can actually will yourself to get rid of it. So a plus three. That's it. Right. So that's a twenty-one. Okay. I'll, be fine. I'll be listening. I'm just going to step away for a minute. No problem. Okay. Well, I'm going to be like, I'm just literally going to walk over to the lease and go, "Here you go. This is for you." <laughs> I know you want it, even though you think it's just a stick. I know you want it's it. Just it's just a okay. stick. I don't. Just between us. Mm. Here you go. I'm just over here by myself. Like, did anybody else see a snake over here? Somewhere? <laughs> You're like, the fuck did that? Anyone else see that? Was it just me? <laughs> it tried to bite me. I swear, I kicked it with my foot. Fuck, is my arm okay? <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, By the way, the... The, the tattoo is still gone. There's nothing on your arm. It's completely gone. Okay. So you'll take the X. He's going to offer it to you. Yeah, you uh, against my better judgment. <laughs> I don't. I mean, I guess I don't know what happened in your head, but no, I, I, yeah. you wouldn't know any of that. I can tell you. I'll tell. He'll tell you. He'll forth. He'll be forthcoming. Yeah. He's not going to be like, oh, oh here, no, you take it. <laughs> it's like, it's like <laughs> okay, this is yeah. Blood There's axe, some sort huh? of dark, sexy thing inside of it. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, you have me a dark, blood, sexy thing. You know, blood of your enemies. I guess. Follow up with the blood thing. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> like right, I'll take the axe. Blood orgy or something. I don't. Know. I don't. I don't know. It'll be up to you. Looking Caligula. Got it. I, <laughs> the professor's more interested in the book than the axe. Mm. Well, I don't know if I want to give up the book. So you're gonna swap, huh? <laughs> you want mm-hmm. i mean i you know he's a wizard so books are like his thing that's were there, fair. Any, were there any changes to these frozen pools when this thing died uh there was no change to the frozen pools themselves no can you see into them is it clear or no. clouded no they're clouded okay so can i like look on his body sure to see if there's anything on there that we can because we're looking for keys, by the way. Okay. <laughs> so then go look for investigation, go, I guess. Or... Go look for some keys, please. Ooh. And we're coming down to the end, guys. So if anybody has to go soon, we're, That's a we're not 25. Not All right, 25. Yeah, you uh you get enough help to roll him over. And on his belt yeah. loop, you see four golden keys that are probably the size of Thank your you. whole whole hand. Ugh, hey guys! <laughs> Suck. Like, hey, you know what? Found a ring of keys. There's a hole in this pillar. I wonder if one of the keys would fit in there. Man, we just killed the janitor. He just had all the keys. <laughs> I know. Poor janitor. So, yeah, what the fuck? are there holes in all of the pillars? Are they like like the ones know. that zip out find. from his from his belt? They got the like retractable chain. <laughs> I know there's one in this pillar. I didn't look at all of them. If you take the okay, time to walk around, 
Yeah. yeah. If you take the time to walk around to each pillar, there is a, a hole in each one, and the keys only fit in a specific one. So you have specific to take a few minutes. Yeah, oh, okay. you have to take a few minutes to locate which one goes to which hole. Which okay. it's not that difficult. Okay. I will do um, that then. Okay. Keep your 23 eye investigation. There is a snake in here somewhere, so keep your eyes out. <laughs> uh, Brayton, what was what was the investigation? About twenty three. Okay, easy enough. Um, you help guide your teammates uh, into putting the keys in the correct places with the swiftness, um, and you. Um, Turn each one one at a time. And the back right pool over here goes from being uh, kind of like not see through to like crystal clear. The ice on the top just and then it just evaporates into this like misty fog. And it just floats upwards as the pool is now just this like glass surface of water. Hey, I mean, if it's crystal clear, we gotta clear, swim you, for it. Do you see a? Is there a bottom <laughs> to it, or is there? Can we see what's down there? Could somebody do me a favor while we're role playing this? Could you go back up and copy that piece that I wrote? I did. Okay. Could you drop it into the chat and pin it, or just drop it into the chat in Discord, please? Yes. Thank you very in much. Discord, yes, I will. Yeah, thank you. All right, so, sorry. What What are you doing? What are you guys doing? Oh, never mind. It's in there. I already had it copied on my thing. <laughs> I went to... I. I'm, it says we have to swim, so let's do it. I mean, I want to see what's down there first. Oh. If it's crystal clear, what does it look like? Uh, you look down and you see a drop of about 20, 20 feet, and then it curves out of sight. Uh. <clears throat> and you just see this ever so faintly pulsing kind of like blue light emanating from the tunnel. All right, I'll go first. I'm tired of this place. <laughs> Lady Akaria, shwoo, splish. Constitution saving throw with advantage, please. As this water is fucking cold. All right. Uh, 13 is fine. You swim and go out of sight. Who's next? I'll hop in. Okay, Constitution saving throw with advantage, please. Uh, 18 on the die plus stuff. Okay. Who next? Uh, uh, Ellen's like uh, uh, touching. Uh, Ellen's is. touching her nose and then not it. <laughs> Universal not, not it. The not it, so. Um, I'm going to cast uh, Alter Self on myself. Okay. And I'm going to give myself gills and webbing. Fair enough. So you... I can become aquatically adapted. <laughs> Bloosh. Advantage constitution and... saving throw, please. That's an 18. That's a pass. Success. And anybody left? Um, I don't know if he grabbed the book, but I'm going to grab the book because I think not only for us. Oh, but... I did. I agree. Yeah, okay. I, I thought it would okay. be, be nice for Thalen because he's a big old fucking nerd. But yeah, I'll, I'll also hop down into the yeah. pool after. Okay, very good. Constitution saving throw with advantage, please. Do, do, do. Hey, hey. 
That's a How can I pass these and I can't just step up onto something? You can't step up on a book, though. <laughs> Anything I've tried to do cool ever fails. Every cool. single cool time. When they, the horse fair. thing. <laughs> and when they all jump in, they're gone. Yeah. I'll be like, oh, fine. <laughs> I didn't want to get jump wet in. today. <laughs> Constitution saving throw with advantage, please. Twenty-three pass. As you guys swim and you swim and you swim, the breath for those of you who are not aquatic, like almost reaching its very <laughs> end, you can see this pulsing blue light in front of you. And as you take your last strokes to your very end of that breath, once again you feel yourselves sucked through and spit out the other side of the kitchen door as you <laughs> into the tavern ass over tea kettle Thalen standing by the bar cleaning a glass looks at you and says ah oh. I, I am crawling to that fireplace and getting warm mm. welcome home can I get you something warm to drink Please. And that's where we'll end the session for tonight. Nice, Tony. Very nice. I'm going to, I'll cast so. press the digitation to like clean myself with the water and then also warm up my clothes. Very good. Uh, one right. bit of, uh, one quick bit of uh, housekeeping for you guys. Uh, and this will be the only time that I do this. Uh, next time you have a fight. I would encourage you to fully investigate the body in the chamber. You all gained 500 gold pieces and two potions of protection from cold. Neat. You would have, you would have missed so, that had you not investigated. You investigated for the axe and things of that nature, but just make sure you're saying I'm looking for things. 500, we'll go for 500 gold I, for the party? and the... For the party, yeah. Okay. 500 gold to the party and two potions of protection from cold. So 100 gold each. Right. And then we cool, can we have gold out in the this uh, tower that ocean. we can't leave. <laughs> Correct. And that I mean, I'll be... take yours if you don't want it. <laughs> uh, this match... I know, right? <laughs> you can have mine. Level 2 will gain you half a level. Hmm. Neat. All right, I'd love to stay in chat, but I definitely have to go. So, good night. Thank you so much for coming. Catch you guys around. Yep. Later. Sleep well.